what the duck is Safetch doing in the gold battle league in the master league well let's go to check this Surfetch pre-evolution out as we're gonna use it in the Go Battle League in the Master League together, alright? So hi hi to all of you guys! So yeah, the first thing that we have to do is to max it up to level 50. Great, it goes up to 1,893 CP. Not good enough, we have to evolve it now. Now after completing the adventure, making 10 extant trolls with it, I've already best buddy this. We're gonna evolve it. Yep, so as the evolution is going through, I just want to let you guys know that this pin or this badge is available on the online shop if you guys want to get yourself your hands on it it's available on the online shop link is in the description down below or if you guys uh, want to basically just google brandontan91.com all right so uh, it's a pin that i have uh, for a very long time and uh, if you guys want to check it out and check out other pins too they're all available too so the move that we want to get is counter leaf blade and close combat if we get close combat, great. Oh, we do not get close combat. We have to change it. So it has access to brave, but and also uh, oh, night slash. Okay, please, 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 please get close combat. All right, great. We got. We ran out of it, 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 it charge DMs. We are not gonna elite it. All right. So we got counter leaf blade and close combat. It's already powered up to level fifty, and this was the one that I caught during uh, I guess one of the events uh, in Singapore. All right. It's a hundo. And uh, it goes up to 3375. My first time ever having a Surfetch powered up to level 50. I do have two other Surfetch, but one of them is a shiny, the other one is powered up for Ultra League purpose. Alright, anyway, let's go ahead to Go Battle League right now and uh, let's see what the duck is going to happen to us. Alright, this duck Pokemon is going to be pretty interesting. Um, it has a very, very long sword and a very, very nice shield. When this Pokemon is going to come back, I'm not too sure, but uh, it's a nice addition to the collection and it's a pretty good fighting type Pokemon. So it's a pure fighting type Pokemon. Is it pure fighting or fighting flying? Wait, hang on, I kind of forgot. Uh, I know the Cantonian one is normal flying, so wait, give me a sec. I think it's pure fighting if I remember correctly. It should be pure fighting. Alright, we got Landorus in the house against my Palkia, so it's a pretty decent start for the two of us. Bringing in his uh, Dialga. I'm gonna bring in Surfetch, man. Look at this guy. Surfetch is gonna go to work. Alright, it's just gonna tear through um, Dialga totally. I'm gonna have to shield this. Surfetch, I don't think is very, very tanky, despite the fact that it's having a shield. Alright. But the counter's damage is adding up like crazy. I'm gonna totally farm down the dial guy if I'm able to. Hopefully, please. Okay, great. Now we got two moves ready. And if it's gonna bring in the Landorus, I'm gonna go with the Leaf Blade. Uh, okay, waiting for it, waiting for him. Okay, bring in Landorus, we're gonna go with Leaf Blade. We're gonna spam Leaf Blade all the way. At least we are doing neutral damage opposed to doing a resi resisted damage. And Leaf Blade does a lot of damage too. Uh, okay, then we got one more Leaf Blade. We're gonna go with... I hope we can go with triple leaf blades. It'll be truly amazing to see um, <laughs> that happen. Okay, can we survive the oh we can't survive? Oh my god, that was so close. Alright, we're gonna bring in our Palkia, farm down the Landorus totally. Okay, all good. I'm gonna let the Sensia Stone go through. Okay, okay, all good, all good. And then uh, we might want to switch into our Necrozma if he brings in the next Pokemon. I think it should be fine. We're going to try and remove the debuff. Let's see what's the next Pokemon first. Okay, it is Zacian. That is pretty... Um, nah, I don't know, man. I don't know if it's good for us, but uh, we're going to have to uh, see if we can uh, go ahead to go with our Dark Pulse. I hope we burn a shield. I hope we burn a shield. If he does not shield this, there's a high chance we're going to lose this. Alright, great. He shield that. Awesome, awesome, and uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna shoot this, right? Are we gonna shoot this? Yes, we definitely have to shoot this. Okay, we're gonna shoot this. Okay, it's close combat. Awesome, and then uh, we will just go with this. Two, three, four. We're gonna go with another duck pulse. Okay, awesome, awesome. If my opponent doesn't shoot this, we can go with duck pulse and then aqua tail to actually knock out the. Okay, he actually shoot that. Uh, we can go with duck pulse and then the aqua tail just to be safe. Uh, since this will also suffer a debuff for him. Okay, close combat, there we go. He has to go with double close combat though. If he doesn't go with double close combat, I can just go with Dark Pulse and it should be enough to knock out the Zacian. Since it has been uh, defense debuffed majorly, so it's going to du suffer double damage. 
And boom, there we go. Okay, we won our first battle. Man, I would say that the Surfetch did a lot of work, especially against the Dioga. Seriously, what the duck? <laughs> Whoa. Okay, so uh, we're going to go into this right now and go back to here. By the way, this particular uh, pin or this badge has been uh, made in such a way that it kind of represents uh, N, but also kind of represents my avatar. So it's kind of uh, cute. All right, uh, what the duck, even if you turn, turn it upside down, it will also still show what the duck. Okay, it will still show what the duck. Anyway, the battle is starting another Landorus here. Of course, I know what's going on. I know we just have to wait a few more seconds before the battle starts. 4124. 4142, sorry, not 24. I'm dyslexic. I can't even pronounce the word. Yeah, for some reason, I always mix up the numbers. Yeah, anyway, we got Sensuous Storm. Okay, since he's staying put, I'm gonna stay put with him. We're gonna go with our Aqua Tail now. Of course, we're not gonna outpace the Landorus with its um, fast move. Going, doing so much energy, giving it so much energy. We can go with double Aqua Tails. Uh, wouldn't be enough, I believe, to knock out the Landorus. I know if it's a Hando level 50 uh, Landorus, uh, it wouldn't be enough to knock it out with the Aqua Tail. But uh, with its... Level being not at 50, maybe is close to possible to knocking it out. I mean, we just suffered double debuff. Okay, and there we go. Oh, it, it got knocked out. Okay, great. Let's see what's the next Pokemon. It is Dialga. <laughs> quack, quack. It's time for the duck. Yeah, my opponent is probably the one who's like wondering, what the duck is this Pokemon doing here, man? Yep, it is seriously doing a lot of work. All right, I'm going to shoot this. Um, Leaf Blade will be double resistor, but of course close combat is going to do an insane amount of damage. I would dare say the amount of damage from the close combat is definitely going to be more than using a Zacian against the uh, Dialga. Alright, we got energy, now what's the next Pokemon? It is going to... That is not good guys. That is totally bad. That is very bad. I do wish I have Brave, but unfortunately not. Okay... Yep, no, no, not good, not good, not good guys, not good guys. This is not good at all. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, I'm gonna have to shoot this. This is gonna be very, very tense. Okay, Sacred Fire, please do not debuff me. Okay, we just got debuffed, that is very unfortunate. I don't know man, I don't know if we can win this man, the whole o is very, very tanky. Okay, we'll do whatever we can. And he's a shoe left, of course. One, two, three. Okay, there we go. Okay, please, 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 please. Please be enough. Please be enough. Please. Oh, no, it's not. It's not enough. Definitely not enough. Definitely not enough, guys. Yeah. Ho is one of the best counter against Necrozma. I mean, the does mean Necrozma because it is kind of a Metagross against a Ho-Oh which is not good. I mean uh, of course Necrozma can still handle the Ho-Oh better than a Metagross because Metagross most people will be running Earthquake and of course Meteor Mesh so <laughs> you can't do anything to Ho-Oh at all. Uh, it was quite sad. It was quite nice to actually use the Surfetch against the Dialga but what is going on? Why is everybody using Landorus? Okay, we got Rayquaza in the house. Very interesting. Okay. Um, breaking Swipe, I'm going to shoot this. The Landorus can be handled by my Aqua Tail. So we're going to uh, do that. Okay, what we're going to do is uh, we're going to go ahead with this. We're going to bring in our Necrozma. Please, 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 please be enough. Please. Oh my god, we were just one off. That's quite sad. It's okay. We're gonna let this go through the breaking swipe. We will get a debuffed, but I mean, there's a fifty percent chance we get debuffed, and we just got debuffed. All right, we got fifty percent chance now. Breaking swipe is not a hundred percent chance to debuff, but fifty percent chance. Okay, we're gonna go with Sunsteel Strike. I hope my opponent doesn't shoot this, thinking that it's just gonna be Dark Pulse. All right, Sir Fetch, we need you to handle the last Pokemon. I do hope it's a Steel Typing Pokemon. We can handle it very, very well. Okay, 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 okay. I am gonna let this go through. Goodbye, Necrozma. I am then gonna bring in my um um Palkia. Okay, using that now. I'm gonna shield up. 
I hope I did the right thing. <laughs> yeah, if he's gonna switch out, I might have to pull a switch or so. Okay, switching into there. Okay, great, great, great. Okay, great, great, great. Great, I think. Hopefully, it's great. I don't know, man. Okay, we're gonna go with Leaf Blade. Oh, we can't even get to Leaf Blade. I was just trying to see if I can um, bait the last shoe before we get knocked out. Oh my god, look at the amount of health that's left on the surfetch. It's probably like two dragon breaths away from being taken out. Oh my goodness, okay, that's not gonna be good enough. Oh my god, yep, bye bye to our duck duck. Okay, let's see now, this is not good, goodbye. Surfetch, you need to bulk up a little bit more because uh, you seem to be a bit glassy. We hope you can win the next two battles, alright? Using your leaf plate, I know you'll be good against Kyogre. You'll also be good against Swampert that nobody will be using. Actually, not nobody. Not many people will be using in the Master League, alright? So, uh, anyway, let's go ahead the next battle now, alright? Let's see what uh, my opponent has. He's using a, wearing a Gumi outfit. And uh, we've got Zacian. That is not exactly the thing we want to see, but uh, it's okay. We'll make do with whatever we have. Okay, okay, there we go. Alright, Palkia, do your thing. Palkia, do your thing. Palkia, do your thing. Okay, we're gonna go with Aqua Tail first. Actually, you know what? I should have let him use his charge move first. So that he would actually suffer more damage from the Aqua Tail. Alright, it's totally fine. Alright, there we go, there we go, there we go, there we go, there we go. I'm gonna try, I'll try, I tried catching the play rough. I think he's using play rough. Alright, I'm gonna shoot up thinking that it is play rough and it is wild charge. Okay, so let's go. I'm not gonna shoot this anymore since it's gonna be wild charge again. I already tapped on the aqua tail, right? I think I did. I hope I did because I would like to do that. Okay, great. And he, did he switch into another Pokemon? Oh, what? I didn't see it, but it's okay. I think he's still using the Zacian. Okay, goodbye to the Zacian. Alright, so next Pokemon is going to be Dragonite. Okay. We can handle with our Necrozma, hopefully. Okay, bring in Landorus, which isn't too good for our Necrozma. <sighs> this doesn't look good. Why is everybody using Landorus? Because it is really good with Sensual Storm. That is the only answer I can tell you guys. Alright, let's go with our Leaf Blade. Okay. Okay, okay, there we go. Boom. Alright, good, good. Um, he has two shoes left. Oh my god, he has two shoes left. I thought he has two sh one shoe left only. I was gonna say, like, does he have one or two shoes left? <sighs> right now, in this situation, if I shoe up, he's gonna shoe up, and then uh, we're gonna lose. Yeah, I'm gonna shoot up, he's gonna shoot up, and then after he's gonna Shenshire Storm my Necrozma a few times and we're gonna lose. In fact, just two times. Yep, that's why I, I missed the bubble, but it doesn't matter, he's gonna shoot up, see, anyway. it. 99% chance he's gonna shoot up, if he doesn't shoot up, it's uh, quite surprising to me. Okay, we're gonna go with this. If my opponent actually gets pressured to actually use the shoe, I could switch into Necrozma to go with our Dark Pulse, hopefully not. Oh, that pulse is not even ready, guys. <laughs> yeah, I thought it was. Clearly not. Yeah, um, my, 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 my mind is not thinking about um, like Necrozma at all. Landorus is really good, guys. Maybe I should start using Landorus too. Yep, I think I'm going to do that. We're going to switch in uh, Landorus um, to replace our Palkia or our, I do not know. Okay, we're gonna have to go into another battle because we just did four battles. This set was uh, really one battle in. Alright, let's go ahead into another set. Let's go ahead to search for another battle. We're gonna use Landorus too since everybody likes using it. That's the wrong Landorus. I almost... I almost failed. Okay, wow. That Landorus that I tapped on, that particular one. Um, that one did not have any second move. And I think it's also... Mm, yeah, I mean it's a hundo too, but it's no. All right, seven miles away. Are you just seven miles away? Yeah, maybe, man. To everyone. All right, let's see. Okay, we got Xerneas in the house. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, let's go with Sensual Storm. And then um, let's see now. Of course, Xerneas would be good against the Surf Edge. So uh, that's not what we want to uh, let it face up against. I'm gonna shoot this. It's probably gonna be Moonblast. 
Okay, okay, there we go. One, two, three, four. Switching into Gerahina. Um, thinking, guys. I mean, my Surfetch isn't running Night Slash. So, using uh, that wouldn't be too ideal. Three, okay, we're gonna let this go through. Using that against the Giratina wouldn't be ideal, of course. And we are gonna do double resisted damage with our counters. So that wouldn't be good also. We're gonna go with one more Sensual Storm. Before we actually pull a switch maybe into our Necrozma. Yeah, I think we're gonna do that. Let Necrozma handle the Giratina. And then we can still Sensual Storm the next Pokemon that comes into. Alright, attack has fell. Okay, awesome. I'm gonna let this go through. It doesn't matter. The attack has fallen. So even if it's Shadow Snake, we are fine. It's not gonna use Shadow Ball because this is not the... What? This is not the... Origin form one, alright, so both moves will be resisted. So now that I know he is running Ancient Power and Dragon Claw, we are not gonna shield at all. Great, awesome. Okay, Dragon Claw me, it still be resisted, awesome, and you have been debuffed. Okay, let's go with this now. Please do not shield this, please do not shield this. I'm gonna go with double uh, Sun Steel Strike, and then let's see. Boom! Oh, no, nope, no boom there. Okay, maybe we got another chance for a boom. Close combat will hurt, but you know, we are supposed to showcase Surfat, right? So we are not going to shield the Necrozma. Okay, we are going to go with that. Okay, we're going to go with Dark Pulse. Dark Pulse will be enough, should be enough to knock out the Xerneas with the amount of health left and after suffering a huge debuff. And boom, okay, one more Shadow Claw, then boom. Okay, great. Now, let's see what's the next Pokemon. It is the Giratina again. Okay, okay. Okay, we're gonna do this. Hopefully, um, we have to shield up just in case. Okay, I just hope the last Pokemon is a steel typing Pokemon. Okay, it is not a steel typing Pokemon, it's a Pokemon that you will never wanna see Savage <laughs> fight against. <laughs> oh my god, this is extremely bad. Every move that Savage has to fight against Togekiss is not good it is seriously what the duck it's what the duck that's what the surfetch is saying right now goodbye yep so uh anyway i just wanted to have fun using surfetch in the master it's my first time using it maybe using it with the right pokemon would have been better maybe i should just use a full dark duck team as in go duck Ducklet, Psyduck, and Anne, who is also a duck. Alright, so that's that man in terms of how the Surfetch uh, performs in the Master League. It's a Pokemon that is fun to use, but I don't think it's that meta uh, relevant. But uh, hopefully you guys have enjoyed watching me use uh, Surfetch in the Master League. Man, if you guys enjoyed this video, definitely remember to leave a like on the video. It'll be much appreciated. Thank you very much. And remember to also uh, subscribe if you guys haven't subscribed yet because we are trying to target to get up to 800,000 subscribers. And for those of you who haven't checked out the website yet, our online merch store, go ahead and check it out. This is available. Everything else is also available. And we'll see you guys in the next episode, in the next video. Sir Fetch, it's time to say goodbye. Yes, sir. All right. So goodbye, goodbye, goodbye.